right now, so just hold it still and we're over here. <laughs> All right, I got Abe here. I'm uh, I'm Scott Mills. I'm a Toronto cop, and uh, we're we're at the CrossFit Graffiti Art Program here on uh, Sunday uh, in October. It's a really nice day. We're in the Milky Way here in Toronto, and uh, Abe uh, did this great piece behind me. And uh, I know you came all the way from Whitby <laughs> for the program, uh, which means a lot to me. But what, what's the program mean to you, Abe? Uh, it means a lot, actually. Like I think it's great. I guess that's pretty cool. They're not arresting us. <laughs> but yeah, and we got people like Scam and Peru. These people are pretty awesome. Like, I think it's a great experience. Uh, I got the, the, the big question for me is if we were to get some more programs like this, like on the other end of the camera here, we got Steve from Well and Good. Um, if we were to get more programming like this uh, for people like you, do, you, do you think that it would reduce people going out and doing vandalism and actually increase people doing uh, graffiti like this? Yeah, I actually think it would because like even a couple of my buddies from like down with me, they said they'd come do this, they think it's cool. Like they'd even pay and stuff. I think it's interesting. These you know, just the whole legal form of it. And like, I don't know, you get to learn a lot too. So the bottom line for me as a cop in the city of Toronto would be if we invest in programs like this, getting you together with guys like Scam and even cops, that we wouldn't have as much vandalism on our bus shelters and stuff like that. Do you agree with that or no? Yeah, I agree. Because like, you're letting people get their name up there like legally pretty much. Like This is a pretty open place. Everyone can see everything. It's a good spot. Did you see how I got the permission to paint this hoarding yesterday? <laughs> asked for an opportunity for you guys to the people that owned it and they said yes without any hesitation so I, I think it's a win-win and I just want to thank uh, Pro Action Cops and Kids for funding our program here this is the graffiti part of it I'm looking at a person in front of me named Nadia who doesn't want to go on camera but she's met me on Twitter because of the social media part of putting out of this. I've also had other cops from other police services meet me on Twitter and show up here and actually learn about graffiti art. And we also do a CrossFit workout at the Academy of Lions. So it's about uh, improving ourselves. And uh, I want to thank you for coming from Whitby every day. This is what it's all it's about. Pleasure, yeah. Steve, you got anything to add if I take that camera? Not really, but uh, you know, it is a great time. And you know, I think everyone that came out had a good time. and. You know, I think it is about making connections and meeting people that you've never met before and, and learning new things. So I think we've accomplished that, no question. So. Well, I'm just going to end over here uh, on uh, something that happened yesterday with a guy that we uh, was homeless that uh, showed up here. Uh, we called him Homeless Joe on Twitter. And we, because of what we were doing on Twitter, so many people came together and rallied behind this guy that he was here yesterday and he actually painted himself in a window looking out over a beautiful mountain even though he's not really artistic but he was also able to tell a guy like Abe what's gone on and uh, now we have an amazing artist down here uh, Scam and he's gonna paint that wall and I've just had the conversation with Scam about what that guy's all about so it's gonna end up on the picture of uh, homeless Joe we're now using the hashtag real Joe so this is all about helping people so thanks a lot for doing it amazing